The grass is always greener on the other side. Hello and welcome to Otsuke's vlog episode number five. Um, it has been uh, what seems like eons since the last episode, which was I think about a month ago. Yeah, what's that? Oh, what? Oh, these! Oh, right, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, well, as I believe I talked about very briefly in the uh, last vlog, episode 4, I was having a music video made for my song, Giant Robots. Well, unfortunately, that music video never happened. What did, however, happen was another music video for my song, Starship Disco. Starship Disco is essentially a cheesy... It's a house track of sorts with massive, massive cheesy elements reminiscent of sort of 70s funk disco kind of stuff. Good lord, what a terrible kind of vlogger I am. I forgot to say something immensely important. Happy Towel Day, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, it is May the 25th, which means it is Towel Day, a celebration of the work of Douglas Adams. So happy Towel Day. Um, in fact, I'm going to have to put something in. Um... Oh right, here's a little towel day present. For those of you who followed my other channels, you may have heard it before, but I have had literally no time to come up with something new, so um... Right, sorry about that. Good lord. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I did that, I, I think it may have been last year for Tal Day, and it was posted over on the Drastic Harmonic channel. Anywho, this music video that I was previously referring to, the song is Starship Disco, and is essentially a disco track about a nightclub in outer space. It is going on my concept album. That's right, viewers. Um, Mr. Otsuke is doing a concept album. I have no idea what to call the album, I have no clue. Um, the concept is of course science fiction based. Um, most if not all of the tracks um, contain a sample from a, a score from a movie or from a TV show with a science fiction or fantasy base. The album as a whole tells the story of a scientist. Um, and the scientist, through a failed experiment and an accident within the laboratory, ends up with solid music, pure music in his brain. And that's what these light-up goggles represent. I made these myself. Well, I didn't entirely make the goggles. I bought the goggles and then retrofitted them. Um, for anyone who's actually interested on how this is done, I may post a, a proper video 
Um, but essentially, in short, I've dismantled torches. If anyone wants to actually learn how I did it properly, wants a better look at these goggles, um, comment uh, below or send me an inbox, or if you follow me on Facebook, send me a message or what have you, and I will do my best to uh, fulfill that. Now, because many of you won't have heard Starship Disco, oh yes, I've just realized, uh, I've well, well remembered, um, in the last vlog, I linked you to SoundCloud, or attempted to link you to my SoundCloud. The links didn't actually work. I will go back and I will fix that video so that the annotations that I do actually have um, something um, or, or, or are gone or will have a message because essentially when you are linking within an annotation on YouTube you cannot link to external websites you can only link to other videos playlists channels etc uh, for which I apologize profusely so for those of you who uh, like SoundCloud or have already seen mine after following the links in the description of the last video you can listen to Starship Disco on there um, it is uploaded. For those of you who have no links, here's a tiny little snippet of Starship Disco. Starship Disco, Starship Disco, Starship Disco, Count on Starship Disco, Starship Disco, Starship Disco. Starship Disco, come to the Starship Disco. Well, they are, that's all you're getting. The Starship Disco music video is being completely created by Vincent White, the chap whose film um, was in my last video. Um, so it should be rather good. I should get a high definition copy once he's finished. It's his coursework, really. Um, so, you know, that's what it's for, but I get a music video out of it, so bah, yeah! One of the next videos I upload might not be a vlog. Something other on, than a vlog on this channel. It boggles the mind! You know what? I'm going to take these off because I actually can't see you at all. Um, ow, ow, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, so the concealed wires and nastiness that um, makes those work. Um, yeah, I'll just turn them off. Da -da -da -dee 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 -dee. Right. Um, right, where were we? I can't see a thing. I haven't got the specs on. Yeah, speaking of those uh, media students, um, as I mentioned, there were a few films that I scored during uh, that week that um, Vincent's film was done. Uh, and another one of, of which was just finished. It was done by a, a very good friend of mine and a very sweet man. Mr. Scott Greaves, uh, concept by Scott Greaves, and Nathan... What's his name? His name is gone. Nathan someone. Nathan, if you're watching, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, God. What? What are you doing tonight? 
Shut up. Holy shit. Hey. Right. I've finished my work now and I've messed up again. What do you want? I don't need to draw like that. I can't. Lots of dialogue, um, it's got quite a nice score, a decent score, full score, perfectly suited to the action at hand. Um, yes. Have we seen Chris at all? I haven't seen him all week. Apparently he's just at home. No one really knows what he's doing. Anyway, the plot can be deemed to be fairly linear, you know, fairly straightforward. And the uh, film won uh, multiple awards in film festivals all over, such as the... Uh, the Chris, are you alright? Where have you been? I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry about having to rush off there. Sometimes my computer, when I'm recording vlogs, um, sometimes I have to do several recordings of the vlog because if I record something over five minutes, it has a habit of removing all of the audio. Stupid, yes. I know. I know. Really stupid. Anywho. Um, yeah, so that was the film by uh, Scott Greaves with my score. Um, in all... Honesty, I'm um, not entirely happy with that score. Originally, you see, there was a very, 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 very different, much longer edit of that film, um, which I which I scored. And then when I got that that final cut there, and to sort of fit the score that I'd already recorded, because I didn't have much time, I had to do it overnight, I couldn't record another score, didn't have the time, so I had to sort of fit the score that I'd already done for the other cut to it. So in my opinion, it is a tad messy. Um, it has certain areas where the music sped up too much, etc. It's kind of a bit... But you know... The, the directors of the film seem to enjoy it, so, you know, whatever works for them, it's their film. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else I need to say now. Um, nope, not a thing. So, um, 
Ah. Hola, hola. Tequila.